If you're like me, you're sick and tired of making trips to the fridge for that cold drink. What I have here is a plastic planter box. I'm going to build it into a wooden table and I'm going to show you how to build that table. Everyone's planter box is going to be a little bit different, so you're going to want to take a measurement of the length. You want to make sure you include the top of the lid. This is where your piece is going to sit if you want to hide the inside of the cooler. We're going to head over, grab a 2x6, make a couple cuts. Okay, so we got our first 2x6 cut. Now we're going to cut four 2x4s that are going to sit on each side. They're going to be the exact same length as the piece you just cut. So we've cut four 2x4s that are the exact same size as your center piece. Two 2x4s two on one side, two 2x4s two on the other side. This is your center piece that's going to be removable. Make sure it's nice and tight. Take a quick measurement. Now we're going to grab two by sixes, put one on one side, one on the other side. Okay, we've got everything lined up nicely. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing again, repeat it, but now on the outside, the two by sixes again. Our last pieces we're going to cut are end pieces. We're going to take a measurement of those, make the cuts. We're giving the top of our boards a nice sand. Make sure you get rid of all the rough edges. This is going to be the top of our table. Then we're going to flip the whole thing over and work on our pocket screws. Okay, we've had our whole table sanded down. The top is done. What we're going to do now is flip the whole thing over. Make sure you keep all of your pieces in the same order. And we're going to grab the pocket jig and screw it all together. If you don't have a pocket jig, you can always just take a screw and just toenail it in from the side. Whatever you do though, don't screw from the top. You want those screws to be hidden. Now I've taken out my template piece here. You don't want to put a screw into it by accident. Just keep everything lined up. Mark your holes every couple of inches. Work your way outside. I'm using a little clamp here just before I put my screw in. That's going to hold my wood nice and flush. Make sure everything is lined up properly. Grab your pocket screw, nice and easy. Okay, so we got all of our pocket screws in. The underside should look something like that. Looks good. Next, we're gonna build the frame that's gonna hold the legs. Take a two by four, just lay it out right on the edge. Describe a line. We're going to do that for all four sides. And then we're going to move it to the inside, drill more pocket screws, and mount it. Then our 4 by 4s are going to sit in the corner of each piece. OK, so our frame is going together nicely. Now we're going to put this together and attach it with pocket screws. Okay, so we got our frame built. Before we attach it to the table, we're gonna give it a quick sand. All right, let's get this thing screwed in. We'll work on our cooler. So we're mounting the planter box to the bottom side of our table now. We're using a number 10 screw. It's only half an inch long, so you don't have to worry about it going through the boards. And when you put it in, make sure it goes into your two by four and not the two by six that's in the center of the table. We're gonna take galvanized strapping and run that over the planter box and screw it in, and that's gonna hold the weight of the ice in the drinks. Okay, so we have our strapping in place. It's not going anywhere now. I'm gonna install a tap. It's gonna save you from having to cup the water out at the end and throw it out. We're gonna install it right in the side. We're gonna attach it with screws on each side, put a little bit of silicone there so it doesn't leak. Okay, so now we have our silicone done. We have our center board that goes in here, but it's gonna to be tough to get that out without a little hole in it. So we're gonna drill a little hole in the center just so you can get your finger in to lift it out. So we're not using the cooler. We put the center piece in, use it as a full table. 
Our 4x4s are going to sit in all four corners of our table. Tables are roughly 30 inches off the ground, minus the thickness of our boards. I'm going to cut these at about 27 inches. So they're going to sit in the corners of our table. We're going to take three inch deck screws and put two through each side. We're going to use a countersink bit, put them in so you don't see the holes, and then we're going to use plugs to cover it up, a flush saw, make it nice and smooth. All right, we've got everything sanded down. The only thing missing from this is a nice finish. Let's flip it over and give it a stain. It looks like I may have just saved myself a few trips to the fridge. For Cottage Life Simplified, I'm Adam Holman.